This sports broadcast made possible with support from the following. The Bear Family McDonald's, proud supporters of our community since 1967. Stop by one of their over 35 area McDonald's restaurants today. Rosen Hyundai of Algonquin and Genesis of Algonquin. Looking for a brand new Hyundai or certified pre-owned? It's Rosen Express online buying made simple. Visit RosenHyundai.com or GenesisOfElgonquin.com. Custom Heating and Cooling of Chicagoland. For all your heating or cooling needs, count on Custom Heating and Cooling. Featuring sales, installation, and 24-hour emergency service. Find them online at CustomHeating.com. Custom Heating and Cooling. Powered by Bryant. Whatever it takes. For the best pizza in town, Wise Guys Pizzeria in South Elgin. Check out our new and improved online ordering at I'mAWiseGuy.com. Tom the Plumber is a family-owned and operated company committed to providing plumbing service and installations of the highest quality and craftsmanship. Tom the Plumber, honest and affordable. Visit Tom online at TomThePlumberInc.com. And Daryl Barnes Photography for portraits, family and graduation photos, sports team photos, and more. Contact Daryl Barnes Photography at DarylBarnes.com. And a pleasant good evening, everyone, and welcome as we get ready for game number 23 at the Hinkle Holiday Classic on this venture on this Wednesday night. We have a matchup here of two undefeated teams as we'll have Grays Lake Central taking on the Wapsie Valley Warriors who have been not really tested so far in their first two games. Happy you've joined us. We've got the legendary coach that is the tournament himself. That's James Hinkle and coach. What are we going to see here in this one? Well, I, I didn't know Grace Lake Central was undefeated. Is that it, are they all, maybe they're just one and one. I guess they're one and one. Are we all winners on this side? Are we all winners? Oh, yeah. Oh, you mean in this tournament? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Wabonzi's undefeated for the yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're 2-0, 2-0. Okay. All right. We're, all we're right. looking at matchup games. I like your season-long look at things. Yeah. But that's what we have here, Coach. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'm so impressed with Wabonzi Valley the first two games of the tournament that I, I'm anxious to see what they do as they step up a little bit in class against Grace Lake Central. But be, to be honest, Zobby Granville from Grace Lake Central, who it looks like one tremendous player, is going to have to do an awful lot to keep his team in the game against Wabonzi Valley. I, I just, I, I can't see anyone beating Wabonzi Valley right this minute. But we'll see what Grace Lake Central can do. And I'm looking for the game of his life from Zavi to help keep these guys in the game with Wabonzi Valley. All right, so please stay tuned for perhaps the game of the life for number 24 for Grace Lake Central, Zavi Granville, which we had a chance to chat with him on post-game shows. We're looking forward to it and happy you've joined us. We appreciate the great work that is Beacon Academy, the kids in South Elgin High School. Uh, with night or day or whether all the students show up or not, the teachers will take a camera or two, but either way, we get games on, don't we? Oh, yeah, and we got another great officiating crew uh, headed up by Mark Leffler, longtime friend and official in, in this area, uh, about 6'5 official. He can look most of these guys right he, in the eyes. He gave you a hug. Oh, you guys were hugging Yeah, why? Well, he's, <laughs> he's emotional. He, he, <laughs> <laughs> it's just good to see these guys again, and and he's an outstanding official, and I know we're going to have a well-played and a well-officiated game. It's a good tournament. We have some good basketball going on right now. Let's see what happens. These are certainly two interesting teams. As we get the introduction, again, and we get the introduction for the, the lads there again. Kate Woods, number 20, first introduced. Eric Brum was before that. And here, Zavi, your man, number 24, the man to watch who has to have the game of his life. Jaden Dumas. Jaden Dumas, number 54, is a 6'4 senior. Dumas, one of the uh, three musketeers? Yes. Oh, yeah, here we go. And, <laughs> and also mentioned in the Shawshank Redemption. There <laughs> <laughs> we go. Uh, there we go. Here we go. It's uh, Trey Blissett, number three in the first introduction. One of our players of the game, last uh, game that they played. Moses Wilson, who's a star as well, 6'4", 6'5", they are. And also we see it in the news, Tyreek 
Coleman, we endorse him as well. They are great talent. We've, we've seen any games, you know. See some. We see a lot of see some. I see some of them every game. <laughs> That's right, Coach. <laughs> All right, we get ready for basketball action. And now look at the scoreboard. Is it not working still? All right, I, I think they the fixed scoreboard it. is we, on. We weren't getting it, the. We either weren't. It either was not working or there were no workers up until this game. But now we're full force. Scoreboard's on. We won't have to guess at how many points people have. OG Oliver Gray from Barrington was lighting it up the previous game. We didn't know if he had 20 or 30. He just poured it in all night. Poured Here we in. go. Here we go. Two fine teams doing battle. Keeping the record of 4-0 at the tournament. Here we go. It's going to be picked up right there. Uh, started by Tyree Coleman. He dishes off right side. Again, Wabansi Valley has not been tested at all in their first two games of this tournament. They have great talent. And almost a three-dribble drive. Grace run. Lake and a man-to-man. -man. There's the angle. Uh, dribbled. Uh, we had the uh, three-point shot. Not going to go. And hey, there's a success. We stopped them. Early. There we go. Let's see Wabansi how. already in that full court press. Grace Lake, can they crack it? Boy, look at that press. Now that one, two, two. And. They didn't get it as a quick 10 seconds. That's right. That's you know, it. Turnover right there. You saw the, the expanse that was like you, Glenn Bard West two years ago when they covered the this, court. This, this team reminds me of that team. This team has state champion potential written all over it. So once again, it's going to be Coleman out on top. Dish out, knocked away. Hey, here comes the, the offense of Grays Lake Central. They're across the timeline. Let's see if they set up shop here. Everybody with numbers impossible to read on this game, as you know, Coach. Dribble drive. It's a steal all the way coast to coast. No, but a foul. So that's how it's going to go there. We have two turnovers out of two possessions for Grays Lake right now. The, the, the defense is just outstanding for Mobonzi Valley. They, just, they have such length. Every player has such length and moves his feet so well. It's just a tough defense to penetrate. Jaden Hall is the foul, and it's going to be at the line. Is it Coleman? I think it looks like Coleman down there. Tyreek. Tyreek, number 12 he is. You're seeing those numbers at home or away or on your computer, wherever you are, nicely there with our great camera crew. Both of them are good. 2 nothing to count. Here we go with this full court pressure again. Let's see if they break the half that court develop. this time. That 1-2-2 two, two is expansive, isn't it? They do get it across the timeline, Coach. Nice uh, job Zobby, there. Zabi had to come up and bring that ball down. Yeah, Zabi's on the near side here. Let's see if he gets it there. He doesn't. They, Zabi unable to penetrate here, Coach, so they'll, they'll look, look, and pass. Zabi is here on the near side. Doesn't get it as well. Goes far side. Oh, Zabi was supposed to get it, but stole it. three turnovers. Yeah, three it is. Turnover right there it was. They'll bring it up. Set up shop. Lamonte Valley Warrior. Sound of Aurora, Illinois, they are. Triple drive to the hoop. No. Rebound. Here's quick breakaway. They might get a quick shot away here. Now they're going to wait for traffic to flow by. And set up shot. Far side dish. Out on top again. The court seems to expand, doesn't it, when you're up there in defense. And the whole court is And there's four there. turnovers. Another one. Four straight turnovers to open the game. Wow. That's what you had for lunch, for too. Grace Lake, yeah. Ironically. Yeah, two cherry, two blueberry. <laughs> That's well, I'll tell you, this defense is just special for Mobonzi Valley. And nothing unexpected from, from our angle right now because Mobonzi Valley has just been so very dominant. And that's what it looks like the first minute or two minutes of play. Let's see. Let's see if Grace Lake Central can adjust to this. They're yeah, looking at the huddle right there. And uh, number 24 is their, their big man, uh, Zombie Granville. He's got hands on hips, and the referee uh, is blocking his two. But that's the man that has for Great Lake Central has to probably score 30 to keep it in tow, or at least 29. Yeah. And that was the first time out right there. Happy you've joined us again. We've got a game to follow. This is Bobonzi well, Valley has played the 7:30, the late night game each night. They've got the six o'clock still in the winner's circle in this early game for them on this third night. Yeah, I was looking for them to play at 7:30 again. Me too. When I, I thought came it was in. I said, I, you, that. I said, you guys are saying that 7:30, and that one of the players said, oh, we want to play at 4:30. They want to get home early. Oh, <laughs> well, you know. It was a 4:30 request. <laughs> that won't happen. But six is halfway there. So here we go. Down deep, up in, another basket Three. right there. Nice screen Listen roll, it. great pass. That's tray number and, three. And here comes the pressure. Four nothing it is. Can they get a shot away? They get across the timeline, yes. Oh, it's going to be a foul. A trip it would look like. Not in the act of shooting. They'll inbound right in front of the bench there on the far side. 
Will Grays Lake Central. Let's see if they can get a shot that's not under duress. Any How about shot? that? Well, yeah. have they had a shot yet? I think it's all turnovers yeah, so far, it is. I believe. They're, they haven't even been in the, in the lane, have they? There's it's five, 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 five for five turnovers. As Moses down deep. It goes to Coleman, it looks like, and Tariq Coleman. And, and he makes it. it in. He twists his body all around while he's in midair. It's going to be a shot. There's coach. six oh, turnovers. Oh, my heavens. They are There's incredible. There's a half that. a dozen turnovers. Coleman, all, Coleman coast all to coast. Blueberry. Yeah, it is. That's what happened to Coleman. Uh, That's eight nothing. Wow. They scored four points before you could have a blueberry. I know. <laughs> this there we defense go. is special. This team is special. They're hounding. Double team Look at over this. there. Look is at this. there a way out? Is there a whistle? They let them play, fellas. Who's got it? Call it fair. Seven turnovers. Wow. Or is it? Mo Not uh, quite. No, oh, six and a quarter. Six almost. and a half. <laughs> That's right. Wow, that was action there. Baker's half dozen. And there's a shot. A foul. Blocking we foul. Got a block Whistle foul. against Wabonzi Valley, coach. We have a chance for an offensive note here. To the line. Wow. Wow. Wow, and well said. That's why you're in the color commentary booth. I like those. Wow. We had the two wows before the six-minute and five-minute mark just over. This team just amazes me. I just think they're there so There goes special. the shutout, though, Coach. I'm so glad they're here in our tournament. You know, last year we could brag about having Barrington here. Yeah. They ended up third in the state. I'm looking for more than that from Obanzi right now. I'll tell you, this team is special. That's your main man. That's going to be uh, Granville. Zavi with the two points. 8-2 it is. Let's see how we play it now. Expanding the court, as you see. Out on top. Angle left. Oh, how about a three? He says, that's going to be way off. We'll, we'll force him to take that shot if that's a shot. <laughs> that, one, that was going to be a We could see that one from here. Yeah, boy, we? that one had a hook to it that didn't break anywhere <laughs> except the wave. So 8-2. Sessom becomes human on that for Wabonsee Valley. Pressure again. You call it at home, kids. Will they get it across the timeline? They do. Far side. Now what will happen? Fling it out over oh, this way. Uh, a steal. Uh, there's he seven stepped out. Turnovers. A steal, but then he stepped out. It is a steal, but a then he steal stepped out on the way up. Okay. All right. Here we go. You keep charting those turnovers. Oh, oh man. Inbound right do right there. Let's see how they set up shop. Not really comfortable, although they start in court, in floor court. Near side dish. Out on top. Passing around. Looking for a shot that might be somewhere. Here's a dribble drive. No, wing popper maybe here. Into the corner. No, that's not a shot either. The great defense all the way. Working around. It is good, solid defense they just, there. And they just can't bounds. penetrate. They can't penetrate this with the dribble because they get such length. They do. All of <clears> them. <throat> such length six, and they five, move their feet. And six, four frames and, and more, it seems. Inbounding. We'll try it again. 4.05. First stands are remaining. 8-2. The team in the white unis and the lead see what happens here this is going to be your man this is down the oh, there's a toss near near side still too far out to shoot it's got to be 24 shooting here somewhere coach set up shop again no shot clock so we can work we can handle that basketball here's the land of three angle right no long carom taken down Ooh, a collision far side wow you can see that one coming couldn't you there you could Fouls on, whistle that on Brum, B-R-U-M, Eric Brum, a junior guard, a six-footer, that was a foul on. 8-2, the lead, the team in white, 3-3-3 three, three, three remaining first quarter. Great leaking that man-to-man -man defense. Moses had it for a moment, passed it off. There's, oh, that's going to be partially blocked. Oh, that was a late whistle. What did you see? Very late whistle. It was. <laughs> was that on the shot or was that underneath? It, I'm thinking he called it on the shot. Wow. He didn't call it till they had it underneath, yeah, but it, that, that the whistle. foul was on the shot. We, well, are we on a three-second tape delay something? Well, may, well, maybe the whistle was he he, the, bumbled a yeah, little bit. That's you know? right. This guy didn't whistle. Yes. Here we go. 9-2, the free throw good. As opposed to a guided missile. <laughs> that's right. A the missile whistle. whistle from a man from Batavia that we knew <laughs> yes. so well, Dan. Is so. Here we go. Back to the line we go. And it's Swish, and that would be for Coleman, who now has eight points. Eight of the team, total of 10, for heaven's sake. 10-2 it is, hey, here's a shot. Here is a shot. Zombie. He, he traveled. traveled. Not a shot. Eight turnovers. Yeah. 
Wow. Eight turnovers, and we have three minutes to go in the first quarter. And this is a final four game. This wow. is a semifinal. What's the That's... Hinkle record for turnovers in your tournament? Do you know, Coach? <laughs> How many I've eaten or what? <laughs> Both. <laughs> the fans want to know. There's a whistle. Yeah, hey, there's right. a turnover now. There's some inspiration yeah, we got for Grays Lake Central. Bonsie Valley turnover. The Rams, they'll have it again. One over Kerry Grove and Bartley in tournament so far. Here we go. Inbounding four court now, Coach. You can set up a play. Here you we can go. diagram well, one. We'll see you? if they got anything here. See how they go. They expand the the court a little bit and mm. they lob it in back. So we still got to get across the timeline. We do. It was hard for them to even get it inbounds on the sideline. It is tough. They are a, a juggernaut, as we used to say out there, on defense and offense. Passing form. Is there a shot? Oh, they're moving well. Back out of the wing. Too far out to shoot here. This could be a long shot here. And no, it's going to go out of bounds off the white. It stays this way. Stays with Grays Lake Central. The Zombies having a hard time driving to the hole against this defense. Anybody would have a hard time driving to the hole against this defense. They are special. Woods inbound that one from the near side. Yeah. Zombies are 24 in those numbers that you're seeing easier wherever you might be watching than we see with our eye. Out on top, back and forth. Bounce it here. Oh, oh, wanted to go down low. Big guy down low wanted it. Let's see. He can't get it down there. There's a shot, and it's no good. That'll rebound. We'll do it again. Let's see the shot in the lane. Backward dish. We'll try it again, coach. 2.18 remain first quarter. 10-2 the lead for Wabansi Valley with Grays Lake Central to basketball. Will there be a shot here? Playing catch out on top. Looking. Dishing. Dribble. Too far out still, coach. Not much penetration, not losing it, but there's they no really it. chance of a shot. This could be it right here. This is it. The lane opens up. And yes. Nice talk. Yes, indeed. That was a That's nice number three, shot. was it not? That would be a Brum, would it be? That yeah, Brum. Nice shot. Uh-oh, uh this could be over and back. And Grays yeah. Lake defense forces a turnover. 10-4. Get a bucket now. They're right in this game. Substitutions coming in for Wabansi Valley. 14 will check in. That's Elijah Whitaker. Had a great game off the bench one day ago. Whitaker, very good looking player off the bench. And your favorite pink shoes is yeah, in there. Your pink now. shoes is yeah. in now. And they're Valley. There's a shot. Yeah! And that was right there. That's going to be that was nice. 23. Jaden Hall. All right, boy, they're on a there. run. 10 7. And it's a 5 0 run, is it not? 10 All right. 7. Here it is. Now. It's then move out on top again. Around the horn, that was Whitaker with the drive. They work it around. 25 is uh, Cade Ballack. Down deep in the crowd, and it's up and in. Coleman. Coleman, the points. And he he now has, on the game, he would have 10 points. 12 7 the count. He does. He's 10, 10 of 12 of the points for the team. Under a minute remain in this first quarter. Been a mini burst here by Grays Lake Central. Give them a little confidence, Coach. They only Absolutely. trailed by five. They were going nowhere for the first six minutes of the. Oops. Oh, there's a steal. There's That's a ninth turnover. Ninth and a rugged trip up court. No. Rebound battle for falling out of bounds. They get it back. Out on top. Whitaker with it. Backward dish. They're down the 30 second. Whitaker goes right, goes left. Hit the opposite hoop up and in. And he's fouled. That's Elijah, was it not? Yeah, that's Boy. Whitaker. 6'2, senior. Elijah. So 14 7. Skip. So really, even. Oh, you, Elijah. Yeah. Now you're singing now. We have you under contract now. Elijah, Elijah and Moses on the same team. <laughs> That's right. How can anyone else have a chance? Are you doing a Sunday sermon for me? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go to the line for Mr. Whitaker. 14 7 the count. About four or five. Bounces on the. Court and it's swish. Whitaker now with three. 15 7 it is. This could be final shot time. It would be if it can be gotten out there by Grays Lake Central here in the first quarter. Still in backcourt. In forecourt now. Good and, pass. Yeah, nicely done there. Active play right there. Down to 17 seconds. That's your big man out on top. Randville. He can't do anything. Lob it this way to the corner. Swing it around there. They do nicely. That's uh, Alex Randville, the number 14. 
And the three seconds, they haven't got a shot away yet. Running out of time, it must be the shot right here. They have to shoot, and will it count, Coach, in the win? It would not. Did it would not job. have gotten. Did yeah. a good job working for the last shot. They you. did. One quarter of play is in the books. Here at the Angle Holiday Classic, and it's going to be Wabansi Valley 15 and Grays Lake Central 7. Okay. Good start. Good start to the game. Looked like Grays Lake Central settled down a little bit after all those early turnovers. Settled down and got into the flow of the game a little bit. Made their presence felt. Let's see what happens down in the second quarter. Your referees are gathered here. We're seeing the, the, the gathering there on the bench where the referees gathered for a moment to talk. What were they talking about, do you think? Related to the game. Who, who, if they're going to Wild Wings or Red Robin <laughs> after the game. That's you talking, coaching talk there, coach. <laughs> here we go. All right, so we're ready for second half action again. The second quarter action, we should say. We'll keep it in basketball. Happy you've joined us. We're in Algonquin, Illinois, and of course right here at the great high school that is host to this great classic, the James Hinkle Classic, Jacobs High School we're at. So here we go. And a little bit of Wabansi Valley was cruising, as you said, for about six minutes, and they were tested a little bit, weren't they? We're going yeah. to Wise Guys Pizzeria. You like those guys. Best <laughs> pizza in town. Check out the, their new and the improved guys. online ordering system. They named it for you, as well as catering options <laughs> for your go. next party, family, or company. There we go. www.iamawiseguy.com. Wise Guy. You were a wise guy down in St. Louis in your youth, weren't you, <laughs> Well. <laughs> Some people might have said that. I don't know. <laughs> there we go. We appreciate our great group that we have with it. Here we go. Second quarter action belongs to Grays Lake Central to start things off. Oh, oh, he traveled. Oh, my heavens. There. He wasn't sure where he was going to dish uh, it. We just went double figures with the turnovers for Grays Lake. Good work on that. You beat the whistle on that. That's, Coach. That's tough. You know, it's tough to stay in the game when you're turning it over that much. Coleman, who's got 10 markers on the, of the team total of 15, will leisurely drip it, will dribble it a little bit on that far side. He's in front of the, their bench. He's doing the yo-yo dribble and more. Into the lane, back it goes. Hey, there's going to be the long jumper and swish. That's going to be Coleman again. Tariq Coleman has got 13 of the team He's total of 18. Of a start, isn't he? Boy. That just kind of floated up there. Zubby. Oh, oh they, a steal almost. Good work. They got it in full court. They yep. still have it. Let's see what happens here. They trail only by 11, 18 to 7. Second quarter action. Play and catch out on top. Down here, this man wants it right now. Can't get the shot away. See if they come back to the corner. To see if the shot can be done out in the lane. Oh, a held ball situation. And the arrow points towards Lamonte Valley. He got in the lane there before he was held up. I, I, what are you seeing, Coach? The arrow, something got goofed up on that bench, I'll tell you. Now they switched it again. Okay. Right. They switched the arrow. Yeah, you've got it now, Coach. 18-7 with the basketball with Bonsi Valley. Down oh, deep. Oh, wow. it's going to be, you know who the pick shoot man, the shoe man, that's going to be Malik, and he misses that. But we hear a whistle. I think probably we got to follow Will Bonsi Wow, Valley. see, they're, they're almost human here, a couple seconds. Pink shoes shot a little too hard that time. That's right, yeah. That's Cade. Hello to relatives, uh, they should be listening. Up in Wisconsin, I believe, for the 6'6 land. Here we go. Oh, they get across the line nicely. Might throw oh, it away there boy. almost over the shoulder catch like Willie Mays Bad on that one. Bad pass. Is lucky to get it through. Back out of the right. Top of the key, angle left, swing it left, and then go right. And there's a, a set shot land of three. No. Rebound is taken down there by Ryan Morton, it looked like, for Monty Valley. Shot, no. Fall down, yes. Here they come. It's a breakaway. Oh, Zombie we're not, got that. We're not nice. Oh, oh, off his own foot. His own foot. 11 you, turnovers. You never should dribble off your own foot. I've told you that many times. Unless so. you got pink shoes. <laughs> That's right. There is a qualifier. That's right. Pink those shoes, and it comes right back to you. I see we got some green shoes out there today, well, too. But those pink shoes are more popular we, than the red shoes we got, of Dorothy. We got black. We got gray. We got pink. We got blue. We got a lighter pink. All right. You're a fashion the man now. Play. Basketball is a fashion game, we find out. Out on top. See how they play it. A low-scoring game here. The Wabansi Valley has not run away with it in the early part of the game. 
to the credit of Grays Lake Central. Shot short, air ball. That's going to bring it up for the squad called the Rams, Grays Lake Central. They're playing pretty tough right now after that initial 10-2 yeah, run. Yeah, they've settled down a little bit. I think we got Wabonzi ball. Oh, um, do we? Yeah. All right. Mark Leffler called that from outside. He saw it get tipped. So oh. he gave the official oh, well. the sign that it was a Wabonzi ball. Having trouble inbound here, Coach. They do get it in. Out on top it goes. Spin it out just a little bit. Working it now. That's going to be uh, Blissett with it. Down deep, they'll work it to the big guy. He's going to shoot back to Blissett. Trey for Trey. No. Out of bounds. They keep Lubon it again. Wabonzi is going to get another chance. The offense for both squads kind of stymied at this moment. It is. Here we go. Inbounding again, 531, first half remaining. Inbound they do. Far side into the lane. Oh, great move. Dish it off to a teammate up yes. and in. That's Pink Shoes. Pink Shoes. That's Valley. Cade after, Valley. After he missed that three with the air ball, he said, I'm working inside next time. Good right. idea. Got that layup. Seven. Here's a shot to the hoop. Yeah. Great nice. drive. Oh. Wonderful, that kept that he number. Got a little Euro step. Yeah, that must have been 14. 14, that was Alex Granville. Oh yeah, you gotta look at the hair. You know that has to be a Granville. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Coach. You were slipping on that one, weren't you? Yeah. Has to be. The hair always oh, tells. Yeah. 20 to 9 in it. Action here. Is there an easy shot? No. Back on the wing it go. Tippy toe, looking. Skip pass to our man Alex. He gets it back outside. Cade, we should say. And a really good defense here by the uh, Rays Lake Central. Into the lane shot. Is there a travel? Hey, that was a great, that was a great set. Defensively. Good defense. Rays Lakes, I think, settled in. They're getting used to this quickness and speed that they're going against. They've settled down a little bit, and now they're playing their game. So let's see if they can get back into this game. All right, I think Moses Wilson returned, did he not? Yeah, Moses Wilson, number four, back out there. Down deep. Hey, oh. Oh, there it is. That might have, we might have saw that the other way. Yeah, I, th I think I had a different on that. angle on yeah, that. Yeah, we one. had a good angle on yeah, that. Yeah, we did. Maybe a better angle than Mark did. <laughs> Here we go. Can they get the two? Oh, here's a running. Oh, I thought it was going to take a shot. Well, that's going to be over and back or out of bounds. So there yeah. it goes. That's a turnover. No, nope. no, it's been touched. He by says it's hand. off of someone's hand too. Fingertip so. control by that. So somebody from the Warriors touched it. That caused the curve. There we go. Trouble with the curve. That's right. Here we go. We're set up again. 420. First half remaining. Championship play coming your way right here from Algonquin, Illinois. Around the horn it works. Far side. Top of the key. That's the big Granville out there looking over, looking over the treetops. Oh, he'll take Whoa, one from way out. Oh, baby. Oh, man, here's a high carom on that. They're going to get it again. We're going to score eventually on this set. Oh, Granville says, I, I got range. Yeah. Yeah, it range. That was like from here to New York City. And this one too low. And I tried to say they didn't do it. One too uh, hot, one too low for the three-point shooting on that one. Yeah, I think they... Uh, Gave up a little too soon. Goal, yeah, they could keep working. They're getting back into it by working. By working, they were doing it. Yeah. Hang on to the ball a little bit. Yeah, taking yeah. some time off the clock. 3.49, first half remaining. That's Coleman with it now. Tariq has 13 on the night. Dishes off on the far side. Back it goes to Tariq. Tariq will swing it right oh, down the hey, he, saw Kate, him. he might have traveled. Hey, he got away with it. pink shoes. Uh, yeah. That added two inches to his vertical. <laughs> right there, baby. They are ready to roll. My, you know, my granddaughter's team is the Pink Thunderstar. Oh, my I heavens. I'm going to take a the, picture of the Pink Shoes here. Yeah, Pink Shoes. He, we'll send you a Pink Shoes picture. He, yeah, he, yeah he, can, he can be our assistant coach. <laughs> That's right. Wow, wait. 22-9 as we have fun here at this tilt. Playing catch out on top. They are on the far side. No dribble drive. The lane opens up a little bit. Back the other way. No, we got a shot here. We do have a shot too far under probably. Now, this is a potential long two. No air ball. Coleman's got it. Tariq has got 13 markers on the night. Tariq coast to coast. No, he'll dish off. It's going to be their addition now to Moses, it looked like. And it was actually going to be to Blissett. Out on top. Thinking about it? No. Angle left. Oh, there's a cop. Oh, Kate is really dangerous tonight. Oh, about a follow up there. Teammate there. Put it up and it's not, not Kate scoring. 
There's your score. That would have been Bousset, would it not? Yeah. He's got four. Katie Trey, set him up with it. That was kind of a yeah, shot pass. They uh, do a good job of hitting the offensive glass. 24-9. Low scoring. It's got to be a low scoring game to keep the Grace Lake Central team in it. Oh, Oops. everybody touched it oh, there. You got a break. Land of three. No, closer out on top. Land of three now. It's going to be no good. Rebound. Big Cade. He's a man tonight. Man. He? Holy cow. Uh, He's getting it. Bellick is doing the <laughs> number. He is indeed. He wants to stay on that floor. And, uh, Enough of this sixth man stuff. I'm yeah. staying out here. He is. And proud of it, too. Let's see how they get that shot away. Two minute mark it is. They lead by 15. First down. Taking their time this time, coach. Looking it over, passing around. Waiting for Cade to do something. They're a very patient. Team. Yeah, they are. And there's a dribble drive. Was that a turnover? A little turnover. Yeah, a turnover. Tall dribble that was. Grace Lake has settled down. After having 10 turnovers immediately to start the second quarter, they've only had a couple turnovers well, the rest of the quarter. Since you started counting, or stop counting. They, they've settled down. Jaden Dumas uh, is back in there, the 6'4 forward. Now they got to figure out how to get a good shot. Yeah. And let's see if it happens here. They got it up quickly. Ooh. They are in four court quickly, coach. And then they got shouting out the play. This is your, your main man, the other Granville. He's going to see if he can do it. Dish it off. No one can shoot. They got the tall timber in front of them. They look again. Zavi has it. Dish it off in the corner. Down deep. Too hot to handle. But your teammate. Hey, is that an Zavi. assist? <laughs> That's a hockey assist. <laughs> That's it. It's a hockey assist. <laughs> All right, 24-11. Points there made by their number 24. And that's our Granville man. Let's see him score. Uh, bullet pass. Thinking about a three. Not going to do it. 105 they're, remaining first half, coach. Bobonte doesn't take many threes. No, they don't. They look at they, it a little bit. They, they now, penetrate. Right? Get that easy rebound if they miss. Here's the uh, penetration you talked about. Oh, they stopped it. They're going to stop that offensive drive. Yeah. Yeah. Good Look defense. Go. Good Here defense by the Rams again. A three, they could get it to just a 10 point disadvantage. 42 seconds remain. This could be the three area right here. They don't shoot. Back out on side. Oh, boy, that one was almost, that was by his ear before he caught it. And he that did. Was, that was something. I can see a replay on that one. Wow. Passing it around down to 26 seconds. Land of three. Get it. No. Taken down by nobody. Who's got it? Hey, it's going to go. It looks like stay with Gray's Lake Central. He had a foul. Oh, there's a foul. See some. Saw some fouling there. 6'3 kid. Yeah, it'd be good to see him hit a three to send this game oh, down that would be to 10 wouldn't points. Wouldn't yeah, it? that would be a, a great highlight reel. It'd be a good finish for this That's quarter. That's what we're looking for. We're not rooting for either squad, but this would be historically. Uh, oh, Lord. Loud. He was throwing it to you on that one. No, he was throwing it to the official. I don't know. <laughs> a, I saw a Maybe shirt. an official was on a pickup game with him last week or something. <laughs> That's right. He, he threw it right to him. Winner gets root beer. There you go. I like it. Here we go. Inbounding. 12.3 seconds running first half. Squad's up by 13. They'll waltz it across the timeline here. And we'll see what happens. That's Coleman. Coleman with 13 markers, 18 points on the night. And now, there, that's a, a, is three. that a three, Coach? And that's the what they Kane. do. That's oh what they do. Oh, I didn't tip it. No. Oh, no. No. Baby. Do you concur with that? No. Oh. They wiped it off. I want to tell you, if I'm in the NBA, I'm doing that little circle <laughs> thing with my finger. Let's look at that again. Yeah. Make, 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 do we have that on replay? Let's see if we replay that one for you. Do we have that on replay? Did it count? Did it count? And then we go to our halftime fun. Some halftime reels. We'll tell the crew. If not, we'll be able to fire that up at, at some time halftime and look we, at it. We may not have that on replay. Ah, here it is. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see now. Well, we couldn't tell Can't the, see the, the clock. Yeah, that's great the action, though. Great action. 24-11, low-scoring game. When was the last team that held Lamonte Valley to nine points in a quarter? <laughs> That's what we saw in the second quarter. It was 15-7 at the... That's a great quarter for Grays Lake. I'll tell you that. What was the quarter score, the first quarter 15-7. 15-7? Now 24-11. Yeah, so we, we had the fewest points we've seen in a high school game in years in that second yeah. quarter. That was, that was a good quarter. Grays Lake uh, settled in and got, got to play a little bit more with them. 
stopped having a turnover almost every possession and got themselves back in the game a little bit. There's no doubt who the better team is, though, Jeff. I, this Levante is special. Trust me, they are special. That's going to get us to halftime. Happy you've joined us. 24-11, you see the score right there. With Levante Valley, the lead over the Rams. Uh, Braves Lake Central with that count. We'll be back in just a few minutes for exciting second half action.
We are back once again as we get ready for second half action in a low scoring affair here. Wabansi Valley led 15 to 7 at the quarter break and 24 11 at halftime. Only a 9 4 score for both teams. Nine points for Wabansi Valley and four for Grays Lake. That doesn't happen often, Coach. Against no, Wabansi Valley, I'll never. <laughs> no, I don't think so, but Wabansi Valley is uh, still outscored them more than double. And they just show the class. They're the class of this tournament right now. I'm, I'm thinking the winner of the next game might give them a little better challenge, but I am so impressed with Wabansi Valley. I love their team. I love them. I could hear the, the truck. I could hear everybody there. We're ready to roll for the third quarter action. Is what we have here. Tyreek uh, Coleman leads the way 13 points. 13 points it is. As we can hear the truck extensively right now. Everybody giving us control. They are 13 for Tyreek, 4 for Trey Blissett, and 4 for Cade Ballack. That's basically your leading score is for a team total of 24. So here we go. Let's see how they attack this defense now. All right, fair enough. Grays Lake settled down a little bit in that second quarter. Got back into the game a little bit. Yes, they have. Going see right what they to can do. For you. Yeah, look at it. Just the, looking at the length of this defense is scary. A strong zone here, isn't it, Coach? An active, arm-weary zone. And pass out on top. Having trouble. Again, the first part of the game, they couldn't penetrate the tough defense. We're going back almost that again. Yeah, they we? just kept on turning it over to start the game. They're doing well hanging on to it out on well, top. There's, there's no pressure right now. Well, I don't, they, they can't sit out there and hold it for eight minutes. Yeah, well, well, they could, by 10. Yeah. then they'd lose by 13. Yeah. But, <laughs> uh, they're into the corner, maybe a shot there, back out on top. Now they're getting to more score. active, Coach. They are moving a little bit more now. The big guy down low wants it. Can they get it to him? Can they get it to him? Oh, they'll get it to almost the coach. Oh, save. Uh, save that one, uh, but a steal. Turnover, turnover to start the Here quarters. comes a fast break, and that's going to be Morton. Ryan Morton with the mini steps on his way up to the hoop. Yep. Turnover and a bucket at the other end and possibly a three-point play. Well, Bonzi shows his dominance right out of the ball again. So there it is there. A custom eating and cooling has this replay for us in slow motion or in stop action. You saw that good. <laughs> yeah, have, can you analyze that, that Coach? That was a quick review, I'll tell you. <laughs> the switch for Morton, who has three. Three points on the uh, night with that. So it's 27 to 11. Doing again this time backcourt pressure. They do get it to forecourt. Can there be a shot somewhere here? Double team there. He's in trouble. He is in trouble. Yeah, Let him play, boys. Over. He's in trouble. Oh. oh, from the seat of his pants, he keeps it. Now, Good Laura, job. and we got a basket. Yes. All right. A basket All right. right there. They scrambled for it, that, got it back. That's big number got 54. That's Dumas. 27-13. First two for him. Bonsi Valley with the basketball. Daba Tall, this could be a shot opportunity here. Maybe not. This will be far side. It would be Morton once again. Around the horn to start again. And we'll do it backside again on that left side. Out on top. Fling it now. It's going to be Bouchette for three. Trey for three. 30-13 it is. That takes some of the wind out of that second quarter. Yeah, it does. Six foot five, plays on top of that pressure. Shoots from the outside. Can what they, a player. Can we get a shot away? Trapped in the corner. Got it out. And another Look trap. It. Yeah, boy, it's active again. Coach talked to him at, at halftime. Says, fellas, we got to be active on that. that <laughs> murdering defense, if you will. There, uh, take it down now. Trip up court. Going to bounce off a hip of one of the players. It's going coast to coast, coach. No, there's a fling. Land of three. Angle left. Swish. Swish it is. Tyreek Coleman now has 16 markers on the night. 33-13. That was your old address, wasn't it? Down in St. Louis? Boy. <laughs> I love it. Shot potential. Is there? Probably not there. Out. Oh, another steal. Another turnover. Another tur yes, it is a turnover there. A fighting turnover, though. I'll tell you. Four court. Far side. Ooh, tricky uh, dribble that time. Back out inside. This is Moses here. Wilson. Backwards. Oh, give Morton. A fancy pass. There, there they are. That was great, wasn't it? <laughs> Shoulder, I can drop it back. Yeah. Yep. Morton again. In the lane. Spin, move, shot. No, but a foul. A foul it is. And that is going to be going to the line. That Sesum will draw the assignment to the line. He has not scored yet on this Brandon night, do I see? Green, James Hall, that's the fourth. Team second. 
And so it sets him to the line. First one is good. He should get his name on the scoreboard here. Jaden Hall just picked up his fourth foul. Well, we got the other Granville coming That's in now, right. the sophomore Granville. Alex Granville, yes, a, a 5'10", sophomore. So we got a junior and a sophomore number Granville. number 14, as I'm sure you're reading at home so easily. He, he's 30, just the other hair. 35-13, blind pass, bring it up. Let's Second see. best hair is the younger Granville. That's right, you're a good hair man with that. Oh, that, oh block the shot. Here they come, pass break, coast to coast, dish it off, no, it's steal. Here they go the other way. Here we this go. is one on one, basically. Shot oh. rejected. Oh my, we get wow. it back though. Who Shot was it? rejected, no, a foul. Oh. Who was that foul? We have to see that replay on that one. I think that was Moses that rose up yeah, there. Was Moses Wilson. That was a great block, but custom eating cool and call it. Holy cow. It is, it's it Moses. Moses. Oh, that's great. Knocked his team out, made over oh. there with that. My back won't bend that way, the teammates said. Moses Rose. That's right. What was that Psalms 26? Yes, it is. The Moses Rose? I don't know. So you, you <laughs> are, now you're giving us a good sermon. That well, man. <laughs> Here we go. 35 wow. 14 it is. He was above the block. Oh that my was a great goodness. block. That's a, that's a highlight reel for ESPN Holy tonight, you would think. Cow. Here we go. This one is a rivet. No. Rebound. Bring it up. They will. That's going to be Wilson. This is making for set. And we'll set up shop again. Coleman far side. Oop, oop, a foul. Oh, oh my. Did you see that? They, they oh. were hanging on each other a little bit, weren't they? Is that what he did? He hand checked him, got again. him off him, I guess. Yeah. I guess. I guess. Referee's got better eyes than I do. He's right yeah. there, though. Yeah, oh, oh yeah. He's and Cade. here comes Cade. Pink Shoes. <laughs> la, la, la. Cade. Valak will check back in. He's number 25 in pink out there. 35-14, ooh, a floater, air ball, follow-up, no, rebound, Cade. And Cade gets this the rebound. Cade's best part of the he, game, I think. He, he's he's really, having a heck of a game. He is indeed. Uh-oh, and we do it again, offensive charge. And that's going to be the turnover one more time on Wabonsi Valley. And you know who that was that received the charge? That was Alex Granville. See, I know he'd be good, good for that. Here we go. Let's see if they can get some points on the Hair scoreboard. today, <laughs> gone tomorrow. <laughs> that's right. Well, that's your motto. <laughs> if you had hair today, you Hair wouldn't. today. Whoop. Uh, uh, steal it. Steal Play it. Turn over. Throw it. And up and in. Nicely done that time. They just Put in by Coleman. They just convert those turnovers over and over again. They do. The best, the best part of their offense is their transition, how they convert the turnovers into points. 37-14, 18 now for Coleman. Out on top, around the horn. Get his man in there. Land a three angle right. Rimmit, no. Board, yes. Turn around, Popper, no. Rebound those guys. There's Kate again. Man, Kate is playing well. He is. And to the lane, it's Moses, is it not? Yeah, yep. Moses Wilson. Moses Rose, up and to the rim. Time out. Their transition oh, game is super to watch. I love seeing them come down on that fast break and after their turnovers. That's just a really fun game. After scoring only nine points in the second quarter, they're on a 15-3 run here with 314 remaining in the third quarter yeah. is Wabansi Valley. <laughs> and that's the way it is. Hope you're enjoying this, wherever it might be. You're seeing one of the, the fine high school teams of anywhere in the nation, really, in these Warriors of Wabansi Valley. Hope you're enjoying it, wherever that might be. I hope they stay healthy all year because I am anxious to see how far this team can go in, in the month of March Madness. That's where we stand. We've got another game to follow after this, as you know. So the night is still going to go on if you're listening live. We, of course, would bring you not that game, but we have a wonderful game upcoming. That was see Lake Zurich. You like Lake Zurich a lot. You like the Bears. Don't you? I like the Bears a lot. But I'll tell you, at Crystal Lake South, you know, I, I got to, they're just right down the road from us. And I got to like them as well. So I think we're looking at a real good game coming up. All right. That's my cue to start talking. We'll find out. Your cue to keep watching, wherever you might be as well. So here we go. It'll be inbounded by Grays Lake, and they'll be picked up there in backcourt, as you see. Get into forecourt with a pass. Oh, there's a man streaking to the hoop. Nice yes. job. Yes, indeed. Good job. That's going to be big enough. pressure and scored. That was nice. That was Dumas with that. Dumas now has four points on the night. 
is what we have on that one. Might have been Granville, Alex Granville actually with that two pointer. So 39 16 it is. Out on top. Playing cautious right now. Cade, now can he get a three? This is his day. This is his day. Cade for three. My heavens. Oh, I'm sure this is, is six this showing. Foot six junior, and he looks he's so got good. In his most playing time, we've, of course, seen him in our mini tournament. So great for him. 42 60. He sure performs well in this six man role. Comes in and gives them rebounds, gives them defense, gives them scoring. Man, that's a nice six man, I'll tell you that. Haven Sindiki will check in. He was number 25 out there for Grays Lake Central. And there's a good shot in the corner. No, they can't do it on the wing. <clears throat> Make the shot, don't do it. Out on top, let's see what happens here. Back to the wing it is. Looking for an opening. Can you find an opening there, coach? Not much uh, space. I can't. I don't know about, I don't know about the Rams. I, I certainly couldn't. Yeah, there, well, I'll go long distance. Hey, hey. that's wonderful. Good shot. And that's Brum, is it number three? Yeah, yep. for three. Eric Brum, 42-19. Into the lane, gonna pass it. Near side ditch, Coleman for three, no. Moore taking out with those guys. Fast break Ooh, opportunity, Tommy. maybe. Maybe a fast break opportunity, if not a collision course. And we hear a whistle, what was uh, it though? I think Zavi charged after he passed the ball off. All right, good Turn defensive over. work. Yeah, good defensive work by, I think that was. That was Zavi, wasn't it? Is it? All right. That was, uh, I think Elijah drew that charge. All right, 42-19 it is. Monsey Valley with the basketball and the lead. Bring it back out of the down court they do and bring it on the side and draw the foul. That was moving around a little bit on that until something would happen, it seemed like. Zabi Granville, the foul on that. Zabi. Two, it goes out to Moses. Moses, Wilson, Wilson, a leaner, yeah. Wilson, wasn't that the volleyball in that famous movie? Wilson, yeah, there you go, right. 44-19. <laughs> oh, oh my, if he can get it, we might be too far under or out of bounds, yes. That was good though, almost did it. Almost. Almost got it, fingertip control wasn't there. 44-19, one sixteen, third quarter remaining. We are seeing a great Wabansi Valley team, the Warriors from the DuPage Valley Conference in the Rural Illinois. Out on top, Morton, right side, in the lane. Land of three, thought about there, far side. No, gonna get close. And now it's gonna be Coleman, not this time. Rebound, it's taken off the court. This could be the fast break here. We've got like a four on three here, almost. Not gonna develop, but they've got the basketball in four court. They have scored eight points in this quarter after scoring seven and four in the first two. Out on top, work it around. Taking their time. Here's a three. Oh, rejected. That's Morton, was it not? Far side. Yeah, Ryan Morton with that, that block. That was nice. We've seen some pretty good defensive yeah. blocks and stuff, aren't we? Oh, yeah. The lad with the glasses, Ryan, and his reward, he's going to the bench. Huh? <laughs> Sounds like your coaching days, coach. <laughs> well, inbound. Four court. Look over the field. Out on top. Play catch right there. Into the corner, right side. Oh, stepped out of bounds. That's going to be a turnover by Gray's Lake Central. That darn line there, you can't see it. I it's more, it's all brown in color. You don't know when you're stepping yeah. into it. So here we go. Running clock, uh, clock running now with 24 seconds. First half remaining. Let's see if Coleman or Moses gets it here or, or Big Cade. Who's going to get this final shot here of a 44 19 lead? That was touched by, actually, that was there by. Whitaker for a moment, down to 10 seconds, out on top, seven seconds, around the pick by Cade, shot still not here, this might be a desperation shot here, maybe not, this is the desperation shot, tough angle oh. goes, whoa, I don't think, there was no desperation <laughs> that was, there, that, that one, was a heck of a shot, he was behind but standard almost, Neal, wasn't he? he knew exactly where he was and what he was doing, that was a heck of a this shot. Here's a replay by Donovan Neal. You call wow. coach. Let's see where he was on this. He, he almost was out of bounds on the dribble. Yeah, that's a combination of it. And Donovan said, he, I knew it was going he in. Just, he knew exactly what he was doing. That was a great shot. So there's your third quarter action and third quarter score, 46 to 19 it is. Coach. Wow. 
I, I just can't get over this team. I, you know, I, I keep saying it, but I, I'm so impressed by them. I, ho I hope they come back again and again. You know, they were in our tournament for a while, then they were out last year. They weren't here. Now they're back, and I hope they stay because they bring a great team. Is that a nephew for you, Coach? <laughs> He's got a baseball shirt on. <laughs> Here we go. Fourth quarter action coming your way. Romance Valley returning to this tournament, the Hinkle Holiday Classic, the lead 46 19 over Grays Lake Central, the defending champ. Are we not? Yeah, absolutely. So that's what we have here. Cade inbounds. You know, the king is dead. Long live the king right now, that's baby. That's right. Whitaker with it. <laughs> Whitaker flings it out on top. Last year's champ against a team that's hoping to be this year's champ. Cade having the game of his career. Dish it, far side. Taking their time here. They got the big lead. Here's going to be uh, Lissette. Trey backwards with a dribble. Wing it far side. Just looking to see action taking place back out in the wing. That's going to be Lissette. Into the lane it goes. Shot is up and in. And that's going to be a basket for Trey, is it not? And it a foul. Is. Basket was, and a foul. That was so casually done. They're strolling around like nothing happened. I think we're going to clear the bench. I think yeah, we're seeing Grays Lake Central say, get up, fellas, get close to me. I'll talk to you for two minutes, then you're going in. Well, if he hits this free throw, we're going to have a running clock. All right. It'll be a 30 point you, lead. Are, you, you can make this call then. You, you don't have too many running clocks in the semifinal game. You do not. This team is so special. It, if it happens, you got the call. Here we go. It's running, baby. <laughs> running clock, 49 19. They haven't started it yet. They haven't started it yet. No, they haven't started yet. When, when it starts, it ain't going to stop. All right. The running clock, hey, like time itself. Here we go. 30 point lead. See, I think get a shot away here for Grays Lake Central. They were close early, battled pretty good early. When it was 0 0. Yeah, it was. I, good point. Good point, coach. Well, they were they were inspired early, I thought. They were almost a steal here. Boy, look at them. Look at that ball. Nice. Shots there. And nice good shot. Job. Nicely done. Zombie. Yeah, Zombie. Granville with like the Zobby. two pointer. Yeah. Fairly quiet here tonight. Seven points. Into the lane. There's the shot. Swish. We're, we've already decided. We can tell the truck. Tyler Street hit it there. We are going to talk with a man wearing the pink shoes. Cade Valak, number 25. Cade Valak, V A L E K. He has had a wonderful game. We could choose anybody yeah. out there. As we're you know, taking Coach. Cade. Yeah, we're taking Cade. And we could bring the whole team up, and we probably will when we get out to the lobby way. But 25, Cade Valley for Wabansi Valley. We're going to go with it. We're getting it, everybody's concurring with us. It's wonderful. It's 51 21. Well, Bonzi has cleared its bench and uh, get some other guys some playing time now. Yeah, that's what we're seeing right now. We have a game to follow again tonight if you're watching live. Where you might be with the Deacon Academy crew here. And going to be dished off a long three, rim it, no, and taken down. Who shot that over there in that corner? Didn't see that number. That was a pretty good shot. We're getting some bodies coming our way. <laughs> and now we have to rely on the numbers here. Whitaker, that was there. I'm counting on you to see all those numbers there, Coach. Yeah. They're, they're visible by only Superman. Down there, uh, the steal. All right. The shock troops are doing That's it. it. And Donovan Neal was the one who took that last shot. All right, right. here we go. And he's the taking lane. this and one too. Yeah. Oh, my heavens. Nice Neal. little move. Donovan Neal fell yeah. down yeah. after that one. Not a bad move for a 10th man, what do you think? Yeah, good. That was excellent. He's wow. got four now, back to back. This is that playing time that you loved when you were young. Absolutely. Get in now, baby. That's right. You look to score. Get some points on that scoreboard. They're only at 21 so far. We're just kind of dancing around. Hey, there's a three. That's going to be a little long. Rims it. No. Rebound. Taken down by Grays Lake Central. Quickly up court. Here they come. The shock troops are doing it right now. See what Neil has in mind. We also have out there number 24 for those guys. That's Randall, uh, we should say, uh, for Abansi, uh, for everybody playing out there. It's going to be the long jumper. That is good. 24 would be Andy Willen. We saw him last night as well for Abansi Valley. They have pretty much everybody that they would bring out at this point. We'll check some more numbers. As we continue to play down deep, can I turn around and shoot that? No. This could be a weak leaner, and it's not going to go. Rebound tap. Take it down. They'll bring it back up again. 
So let's see, we've got right here, that's our Tyler Threet, and he's got it up and in. So Tyler, nice. we, we did the Tyler and Tariq show a couple of nights ago. Here's a replay coming your way, Coach. He Custom eating and cooling. Used his body to shield, yep. got it up on the glass. Boy, that was almost a Dr. J move with that, that white was, that was arm, a nice wasn't it? Move. Extended? Yeah. He did a good job there. 55-21. Yeah. No, we're going to go, yeah, 25, yes. Yes, we're conferring with the crew. Cade Ballack, we like his look. He's got great playing time here tonight. We could choose everyone on the team for the post game. Yes, and they will appear, I believe. <laughs> so that's how we're doing it. 56-21. Yeah. Hey, big guy down low. Oh, he's got a block. Nice block that yeah, time. <laughs> that was indeed a good block. We'll check who that was for them, I guess we would. Was uh, it Tyrus Payne with the 32? Is, is it 32 down there? I'm yeah. trying to see it. Yeah, it's we saw Payne last night when it was out of control. So yeah, possibly that can be him, no question about it. So we tried to catch those numbers out there. 313 remain in regulation. Steal, a breakaway, a one on two, oh, dish nice it off, pass. now a two on two, and up and in. Nice That's pass. gonna be. Donovan Neoman, nice assist on that That play. was great. They gave that to Threet. He now has seven. Down deep. Oh, wing that into the third row of seats. And a lucky fan has a basketball for a souvenir, Coach. Can we give those away? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. And, and everybody's going out. We're going to go into the third team, are we not here? Yep. We'll catch some of these names for you for the Wabansi Valley Warrior fans. Running clock to 32. Remaining, 58-21. Oh, that was a long, tall shot. Didn't go. We're going to do it again. Bring it back down. We will. With some of these numbers that we'll see here for the men off the bench for the other squad as well, we would see uh, uh, Brandon Kirkner is out there. Brandon Kirkner. I see a 30 out there. Again, the numbers are almost an eye test that hardly anyone would pass yeah, you can't to tell. capture those numbers. This could be him. Let's see. No, doesn't go. Rebound. A good rebound. Here it is. Up court quickly. We're bringing it up fast. Who was that with that rebound? Here he comes. And he's got it there. We also, Josh Tinney is in the air, number, in, in the game, number 11. Now, the number you were looking at was what, Coach? Miles Wesley got that great rebound. It came down, was going to the hole, got the foul. All right, good job with that. Miles Wesley. 13's in the game for Wabonzi. Nate Calvo. Good call. Marcus Hushian will check 11, in number 42. Josh Tinney. Yeah, so there it is. Let's see if we can get a, a point or two here. Here we go. And as we look at that, it was Tinney that touched it there. Tinney was the sound of your radio as a boy, wasn't it? There you go. There's a dribble drive. Oh, here is Tinney, Josh. Yeah! All it. right. Tinney for two. He nails it. For three. For three, sorry. Woo. Plus 61, one. 61, 21. Wow. Oh, into the corner. 105 remain. Again, we'll talk with K. Valley on the post game. He's the lad of the pink shoes, or was on court. Had a very good game, but we'll get a chance to see just about everybody from the Wabansi Valley area in our uh, chat in the lobby way. There, you get the basketball. We'll throw it up here. Let's see, he's gonna get it down deep. Oh, bounced it off himself, but he still has it. On the wing, a land of three. Oh, the crowd was cheering him on, but it didn't go. Did not go. That's tracked down there by their man, that would be Donovan Neal once again, and shot up. Yeah, he's no, going to the hole. He is very aggressive. Neal, he's got four points on the night. Yeah, Miles Wesley, he, he takes it right to the bucket. Okay, that would be Miles Wesley. He's a 6'3 junior with a number 23. Wesley has not yet got his number up on the scoreboard. Will be quiet for this point potential. Shoot, he missed. Yeah, he's got a rebound. He's gotten two good drives to the hole. Let's see if he gets rewarded with Wesley, a point. Wesley, this here. is the last moment of seconds of this game. Let's get a point. And it's going to go get a point at the buzzer. Yes! Right. Wesley for one at the buzzer. <laughs> he can be our player of the game. That makes it 62, does it not? Yes. Do we count that 62? It's good. 21, it's good. So we're going to do that. We're going to take over things here, Coach. Okay. And Cade Ballick will be our man that we have coming our way, so it's all you, Coach. Well, Bonzi Valley just showed true championship class in this game. Well, I'm anxious to see what happens tomorrow night with them. They haven't 
They haven't broken a sweat yet. That's three games in a row where they haven't broken a sweat. Let's hope someone can push them tomorrow night. We'll see you then. Cade Valley, Cade, you guys can make all the noise you want. But first, now, uh, Boz will say, can we can we look at these shoes a little bit? Can we tune, zoom down? These are our favorite shoes. The pink shoes of Cade. What's the story behind those shoes, young man? I mean, I just like them a lot. So, you like them? Yeah. In the store, they look like that, and you bought them? I bought them online, so. Oh, online? You didn't add anything to them, they came that way, is that right? Yep. All right, we had a great, great game. We're going to bring everybody out in a moment, guys, so don't go away because you're such a great team. We, we enjoyed your great play, and you probably had one of your most minutes of a game, didn't you? Yeah, And you I did. did well. Yeah, thank you, yeah. Rebounding at seven points, I think. Yes, sir. Do you have relatives watching? Uh, I'm not sure. I might. All right, well, we, those shoes would draw them out. All right, guys, you know what that means. Orderly up here. All right, come on up, guys. Yeah, come on, guys. We're with Bonsi Valley Warriors. We want to see the spirit of the Warriors. You are 62-21 win. Everybody, everybody. What up, Mom? It's all the Warriors right here. Right there are the Warriors. Good work, guys. Good work, men. The Warriors are there. That's your winning team, 62-21. Let me say goodbye to everybody. All right, let's, you say goodbye to everybody. Hey. Y'all have a good night, man. Great night. Great night. Great night. Great night. We'll see you in the championship game, okay? Championship game. So long, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thanks a lot. This sports broadcast made possible with support from the following. The Bear Family McDonald's, proud supporters of our community since 1967. Stop by one of their over 35 area McDonald's restaurants today. Rosen Hyundai of Algonquin and Genesis of Algonquin. Looking for a brand new Hyundai or certified pre-owned? It's Rosen Express online buying made simple. Visit RosenHyundai.com or GenesisofAlgonquin.com. Custom Heating and Cooling of Chicagoland. For all your heating or cooling needs, count on Custom Heating and Cooling. Featuring sales, installation, and 24-hour emergency service. Find them online at customheating.com. Custom Heating and Cooling, powered by Bryant, whatever it takes. For the best pizza in town, Wise Guys Pizzeria in South Elgin. Check out our new and improved online ordering at imawiseguy.com. Tom the Plumber is a family-owned and operated company committed to providing plumbing service and installations of the highest quality and craftsmanship. Tom the Plumber, honest and affordable. Visit Tom online at TomThePlumberInc.com. And Daryl Barnes Photography for portraits, family and graduation photos, sports team photos, and more. Contact Daryl Barnes Photography at DarylBarnes.com.